and thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I wanted to share with you the one make that I had for September and my plans for October. So I had a formal dinner to go to. Um, it was a black and white ball. I was going to make a phenomenal ball gown and I decided that would be very impractical. So I decided just to make a nice black dress that I could wear out to any dinner party or Christmas party or something like that that wasn't too ballroom specific. Um, and it worked out very nice. It was a very elegant dress. Um, went perfect for the occasion. So it will be no surprise that I chose the skirt portion of Butterick's B5917. For the skirt, I elongated the skirt. Um, and for the top portion of the dress, I used New Look 6808. Um, they actually matched up almost perfectly, like they were made to be the same dress. Um, I then added a scallop detail around the neckline as well as the side slit from knee down. I did elongate the skirt, of course, by quite a bit to get it to an evening gown length. I will insert a picture of my finished gown here. Okay, now I wanted to talk about my makes for October. I have three makes that I would like to do. The first one I have none of the supplies for. I have a little girl in my life who would like to have a dress for her birthday in less than two weeks. And I don't have the pattern and I don't have the fabric. But what she wants is a cute little teal, um, I call them a swoosh dress. It's not really a circle skirt dress, but you get the point. Um, so we shall see if I am able to make that. My second plan project for October are a pair of pants. I picked up McCall's M7366. It is a jumpsuit pattern. I hope to make the jumpsuit next year if the pants part of the pattern comes out nicely this month. Um, so basically I'm just doing like the white part right here. It does have like a cummerbund type belt to it. I want to see if I can incorporate that as a waistband for the pants so that they can have that look all by themselves. If I can get the muslin to turn out well, I'm going to first make them out of this chestnut brown twill wool that I've had in my stash for probably two years at least, maybe longer. Um, once I get those done, I'm counting this still as the same project. Um, because once usually if you make something and it works up really quick and really nice, you can make two or three of them all in different colors. And that is my plan. Um, if it works out with the wool twill, then I also have this stretch wool suiting that I would like to get a pair of pants out of as well. My third project for October, I'm hoping to get done a very casual um, jacket. For that, I've had Simplicity 2508 in my stash for a while. Um, I'm going for the shorter length, but uh, probably just a plain sleeve. And I'm not really sure I'm gonna work that out because the two sleeve options that are in here are not plain, so I'll probably go with just the longer one with the buttons on it. And because the inspiration, the inspiration um, jacket is green, I am going to try it out of some green synthetic corduroy that I've had in my stash for years. Now these, are, this one has probably been in my stash for a good five years. Um, so I'm hoping to get that to work out. So that wraps it up. That's my one make for September and my plans for October. I would love to know what you're working on. Um, please leave a link to your social media channels either in the comment section at the bottom or on my Facebook page or on my blog. I would love to know what you guys are making. It's so inspirational to see the patterns that you're using, the fabrics that you're using, and your finished projects. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!